Welcome to this Help Scout tutorial video. Today we're going to show you how you can add the Help Scout beacon to your WordPress website using the header footer code manager plugin. The Help Scout beacon creates a little icon in the corner of your site, and when your website visitor clicks on that, they can get support from you in three different ways. The first way is they can search your knowledge base articles for answers to their questions. Second, they can use the support form to send a support message. And third, they can use the live chat feature to have a real time conversation with you and ask their questions to you inside of the live chat. So if you don't already have your free Help Scout account created, please use our referral link, digitalsuccess.link forward slash help scout. You will receive a free trial, no credit card required, and you will also receive a $50 discount on your plan. After using our link, you'll be on the main help scout page, so all you have to do is just click on the try for free button to get signed up. Okay, now let's get into installing the beacon on your WordPress site. The first thing we need to do is start in our Help Scout account and copy the beacon snippet code. So after getting logged into your Help Scout account, click on Manage from the top navigation menu and then click on Beacons. Here you can see that we already have a beacon created. Now at this point we would like to tell you about our other video where we show you step by step how you can create a new Help Scout beacon and you can check out that other video here on our YouTube channel. So right now, let's click on this beacon. Over on the left, click on Installation. Now click on Copy. And now you can see the snippet code is copied to our clipboard. Now that we have the beacon code copied, we need to switch over to our WordPress dashboard to add the beacon code to our site. First, let's install the header footer code manager plugin. Over here on the left, point to plugins. Then click on add new. In the search bar, do a search for header footer code manager and you will see this plugin show up. It's by 99robots. Click on the install now button and then click on the activate button. Now you'll see over here on the left HFCM. If you point to that, and then click on add new, we can add our Help Scout beacon code snippet to our site. First thing we're going to do is name our snippet. And to make it easy, we're just going to call this Help Scout beacon code. Next, the snippet type should be HTML. Site display can be set to site wide. But if you use this drop down menu here, you'll have a lot of other options that you can choose from. We're going to go ahead and leave it on site wide. And when we do, these two options appear here the exclude pages and exclude posts options. If you don't want your beacon to show up on specific pages or specific posts, you can add those to the list here, and that will remove the code off of those specific pages or posts. Okay, let's move on to location and we want that set to header. Device display should be set to show on all devices. However, you can use the drop down menu if you want the beacon to only show up on a desktop website or to only show up on the mobile device version of the website. The status here should be set to active. This means that as soon as we save our snippet code, it will become active and the Help Scout beacon will show up on our site immediately. Go ahead and paste in the snippet code here that we copied from Help Scout and then let's click the Save button right here. Now click over here on the left on the HFCM link right here. Here's a list of all of our snippets. Right now we just have the one and it's our Help Scout beacon code as you can see. The status is switched to on. Now, if you'd like to disable the Help Scout beacon from your entire website, you can switch that to off, and then your beacon will be completely disabled from your whole entire site. If you need to edit any part of the snippet code that you just created, 
just click on the edit link right here to do that. Okay, we hope that you will like this video and we hope that you will pl please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.